And of course, more of us are relying on subscription services for practically everything from entertainment to food. But as easy as it is to sign up, canceling can be just as difficult. That's right. NBC's News' Vicky Nguyen has the details on the federal government's plan to help ease that struggle. From streaming video and music platforms to meal kits and clothing, subscriptions and memberships now exist for nearly everything. One survey finding nearly 80% of adults worldwide now pay for a subscription service. All it takes to sign up? But when you want to cancel, many wonder, could it be any more complicated? Chandler trying once again to cancel his gym membership in this classic episode of Friends. I want to quit the gym. <laughs> you do realize you won't have access to our new full service Swedish spa. <laughs> I want to quit the gym. Some companies require you to show up in person to cancel or hit you with drawn out sales pitches. Others offer confusing online directions and phone calls with longer than usual wait times. The Federal Trade Commission calls these dark pattern tactics designed to trick and trap consumers. Some expressing their frustration on social media. It says, hey, how to end your subscription? Go to end subscription button, but it doesn't exist. Now, the FTC sharing exclusively with today, it is proposing a new rule to help. What would this rule do for consumers? So this rule would basically make it so that companies have to make it as easy to cancel a subscription as they do to sign up. FTC Chair Lena Khan says the rule would require businesses to allow customers to cancel subscriptions the same way they signed up for them, whether online or by phone, and in the same number of steps. They'd also have to disclose certain terms before collecting your billing information. So they need to tell you how long the trial period goes for, clearly have to tell you by when you have to cancel. What are you anticipating in terms of pushback from companies? We welcome their comments uh, and welcome seeing what their perspective is, but at the end of the day, consumers don't benefit if companies are tricking or trapping them. Why now is this rule coming down? The FTC has been bringing lawsuits against some of these practices for some time. We've put out guidance to put companies on notice, and we just realized it's not having a sweeping enough effect. The push coming as a recent survey found more than half of consumers underestimate their monthly subscriptions by at least $100. Khan says if approved, it could take up to six months or longer for the rule to take effect. In the meantime, experts say apps like Rocket Money or Mint can help you keep track of your subscriptions and always read the fine print before signing up. If you take advantage of a free trial period, set a calendar reminder of when to cancel and check to see if you're on auto renewal because those charges can slip through and really add up.